So given that urgency, we have created the Water Resources Management Office to specifically handle the delicate job involving this most precious resource. Nakikipag-ugnayan tayo sa Kongreso upang maipasa ang batas para sa pagbuo ng isang Department of Water Resource Management. This year, we have allocated 14.6 billion pesos for water supply projects, which will benefit communities all over the country. Recently, the water supply of NCR and Rizal received a significant boost from the first phase of the Wawa bulk water supply project. The water supply will increase as the project enters the second phase. We have installed 6,000 rainwater collection systems across the country in preparation for the looming dry spell brought about by El Nino. One of the keys to continuing economic growth is infrastructure development. So we will build better and more. Our 8.3 trillion peso Build Better More program is currently in progress and being vigorously implemented. Ang buong bansa ay makikinabang sa isang daan at siyam naput-apat na proyekto sa ilalim ng programang ito. Hindi lamang natin pinapagpatuloy ang mga nasimula ng mga proyekto, lalo pa natin pinapalawak. Kaya naman, ang isang daan at dalawampu't tatlong proyekto dito sa Build Better More program ay bago. The flagship projects cover investments in the areas of physical connectivity, water resources, agriculture, health, digital connectivity, and energy. Physical connectivity infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, seaports, airports, mass transport, account for 83% of this program. Our infrastructure spending will stay at 5 to 6% of our GDP. The underlying logic to our infrastructure development is economic efficiency. We are opening up all gateways to mobilize goods and services at less cost and in less time, and ultimately to drive the economy forward. Our road network plans must link, link not only our three major islands, but all prospective sites of economic development. The 1,200-kilometer Luzon Spine Expressway Networks program will effectively connect Ilocos to Bicol from 20 hours to just nine hours of travel. <laughs> Under the Mega Bridge Program, 12 bridges, totaling 19 kilo 90 kilometers, will be constructed, connecting islands and areas separated by waters. The program notably includes the Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge and the Panay Guimaras Negros Island Bridges, each spanning 32 kilometers, and also the Samal Island Davao City Connector Bridge. As of June this year, we have constructed, maintained, and upgraded more than 4,000 kilometers of roads and around 500 bridges across the country. Crucial airport and port development projects across the country have also been completed, including Cebu Pier's 8088 Smart Port and the new passenger terminal buildings of Clark Airport and the Port of Calapan. We initiated several railway projects with a total length of more than 1,000 kilometers. Notably, the southern leg of the north-south commuter railway system is now in full swing. In a few years, travel from Pampanga to Laguna will, re will be reduced from four hours to just two. <laughs> Intermodal connectivity will also be a primary consideration. Roads, bridges, and mass transport systems will be interconnected. This network will provide access and passage to vital and bustling economic markets, such as agriculture hubs, tourism sites, and key business districts. For strategic financing, some of the nation's high-priority projects can now look 
to the newly established Maharlika Investment Fund. 